Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another General Lover's Lane, Scorpios Love Reading. This is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody, Scorpio. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. I tell you, if somebody ain't on you, they are on you, Scorpios. I'm telling you, they're on you, okay? So this is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. But I'm telling you, it's the same that they own you, Scorpios. Now, somebody got their eyes on you. Page of Swords. Check out your uh, my other reading on uh, Brown Eyes Intuition. It started off the same way, Page of Swords. But you also have the Seven of Wands. The Lovers. <laughs> The Sun card. Some of y'all dealing with the Gemini, a Leo, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. Somebody feels left out and they feel like their hands is tied. <laughs> That's why they watching you and look underneath the bottom. Look, now let me pull, keep on pulling your cards and show the rest of these messages of cards that I pulled to pull when I seen that page of swords. I'm trying to figure out what's really going on. Mm. Knight of Cups. I got work to do. I got a job, baby. Feel like somebody could want to come work things out with you. See there? Somebody here is being taunted and hunted by your scent. <laughs> oh, you got the lover's card. Don't come for me. Somebody can't get you off of their mind. Once again, they, they can't get you off their mind. Could be a cancer. You're always on their mind. You're always on their mind. They looking at you and they tempted, but they feel like their hands is tied here. What else for Scorpio spirit? Who's coming towards Scorpios in love? You got Cancer and Gemini and Leo here. Oof. Five of Cups. Here they go with that again. Could be somebody checking you out. You single on your thing, doing your thing, thing your, doing your thingism. But somebody here is not as confident. Feel like somebody don't want to reach out because they fear being rejected. <laughs> they're gone. They're going to though. See, because that's what they wish. They wishing and they hoping. See, this person is hoping for that Scorpio cup back. See. I said they want that Scorpio cup back. Four of Wands. Somebody wants a harm. Somebody wants a relationship with you. Somebody misses you is what I feel like. I feel like that's an understatement. I feel like somebody really, really, really misses you. Two of Wands. Choices and decisions. I feel like this person want to reach out so bad. So I feel like they're going to do it. They go to Page of Pentacles. And they go judgment again. There it is again. Sounding the alarm. See? I feel like somebody is, somebody is so afraid of rejection. But they miss you so much. So they're going to do it. See? Because somebody want that. <laughs> It says this relationship deserves a second chance. Ooh, that's for somebody. You've learned the spiritual lesson. See, with the judgment card, maybe your person has learned the spiritual lesson because maybe at first your person was denying it. That's what it seemed like. Somebody was in denial here. They were trying to they, they, they were trying to they were trying to deny change. But there is fate. It says this is a destined relationship partnership. They didn't think that you they, they didn't think that about this relationship. What else, spirit? Somebody was in denial, but somebody has mastered their shadow side here. What else for this connection here, spirit? What else those energetic messages? Mm. I feel like this is somebody here who made up their mind. That you are the one that they want. They ain't out here. They ain't out here tricking. They ain't out here dating nobody. Intimately, they ain't. They want you. And like I said, somebody's about to make a leap of faith. Even though they know that you can reject them because of the regret and the loss that they feel. See, there it is again. 
see this person is trying to build your tr trust back because they know that you don't trust them huh true love all right all right so let's let's do these cards that's all the messes i'm gonna pull out of there like i feel like somebody here did not want to admit what their heart and their feelings was telling them because they needed to do some shadow work once again but somebody has mastered this or somebody has evolved or graduated, so to speak. So, yeah, they're going to take a leap of faith and come to you. You got the page of swords. Uh, and the lovers, Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. You have the seven of wands, the two of wands, the four of wands, the sun card, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. You have the Chariot, the Five of Cups, and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right? So let's see. Like, I feel like somebody here is guarded. Somebody is defensive, but they're watching you. Or somebody may be coming in here to try to really put their work in. Excuse me. Get your attention here. So let's see. So this is the time where if you're not hearing from nobody, don't don't be don't don't let that fool you. They they watching you. If you got a social media platform, they're all on your platform watching you. They could be looking at old photos, rereading messages, listening to your old voicemails. They probably got it on replay. God dang it. <laughs> they want to hear your voice. They miss you. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they really, really, really miss you. They miss everything about you. But like I said, you don't miss your water till your well run dry. See? Now, here they are because they've had some type of spiritual awakening here. Because you got the Knight of Cups here. Like you got the leap of faith. And see, like I feel like they finna go for it. See? They go to Magician card. Either they're manifesting you or this is something that you manifested here. I feel like they're manifesting you. Somebody is hoping that when they come and apologize to you or try to make it right, that, that is well, recipi well received. <laughs> so let's see the Page of Swords. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Why is the Page of Swords here for Scorpios? Clarify the Page of Swords. What you looking at, little boy? What's up, Page of Swords? Could be discussions here. For some of y'all, for somebody, with this page of swords, the seven of wands, and the love of this person is standing up for you or defending this connection here. You know how it is. Somebody may be saying, man, why you always checking that? God dang, man, it's, it's too many people out here. Well, why you stuck on them? Somebody saying, man, because you don't know. You don't have no idea well, what's going on with this. You don't know what, what, what this is like, man. Until you get something like this, don't ever in your life tell me I shouldn't be trying to uh, come after Scorpio. See, somebody could be checking their friends, telling them, look at man, don't tell me about this. And you don't know nothing about Scorpio. Yeah, I, I mean, they like, well, man, stop bringing the Scorpio up then. Five of swords, they don't go in there. All right, page of swords. All them swords, page of sword. Ooh, see. <laughs> oh my God, Scorpio, you know that they miss you, baby. Nah, 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 nah. I said a nah, 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 a now, 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 now. <laughs> of course they are. So we ain't mad at you. You're checking out the right one here, nigga. That's seven of wands again. Could be dealing with a Libra, a Taurus. Why is the page of swords here for the empress? Like, I feel like they miss you, Scorpio. They do. They just want you back. All right, page of swords. I'm just feeling this person's energy. They want you back bad. And it's for real, for real. All right, page of swords. What's up the page of swords? Because they up against that empress, see? They go to page of wands and the chariot again. Remember, we just saw the emperor and the king of cups. All right. So, yeah, there's somebody here who in love. See, page of swords, judgment in the five of cups. See, there's a lot of regret. You got the five of cups here. Like I feel like, like I keep on telling you now is judgment time. Scorpios, a lot of masculine, feminine people waking up. They're waking up to finally make up their mind what they want and stop procrastinating. Stop staying in unhealthy patterns whether they're relationships now i feel like this person holding on to you or they could be looking at you hold back from them or somebody wants this 
somebody wants somebody may be looking at you and how how secure you are somebody could be saying that you were it well you were it well you were it well you were it well they could be saying god dang you take care of yourself good see and that's why they love you so much see that i go to freaking king of cups and the Ten of Cups, see? So somebody is getting released, uh, getting rid of their ego here. So it's almost like somebody is broke all the way down. Now, it ain't about their ego. It's all about love, honey. Somebody may want a family with you, Scorpio. That, that, that may be how they see you. Somebody here who is a good mother. Somebody here who will make their life emotionally happy here. Mm-hmm. All right, the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Seven of wands. What's up with the seven of wands? Four of cups. So I feel like this is somebody here who don't want you, who don't want to completely lose out. Because I feel like this is all they think about. Ooh, they go that ten of pentacles and that knight of wands here. Because like I feel like if this was somebody here who didn't want to commit in the past. They're coming back in to commit now. What's up with the seven of wands and the four of cups? Ten of swords. So it's almost like somebody's going to come back and try to really plead their case and their cause here. Because they already know how it ended. Or that you were a big disappointment to this person here and they know it. Especially as the freaking empress. See, Knight of Swords. And I feel like this person has an urgency to make things right. See, because there go the freaking Wheel of Fortune card again. Because somebody may be saying that if they don't hurry up and make a move, you ain't going to make a move. See, Two of Cups. All right, the lovers here could be a Gemini here. Could be, in a, could be a fixed sign, a, a Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Why is the lovers here in the Gemini energy, Libra energy, Taurus? Leo, see, told you, Knight of Cups. You got the Knight of Cups twice because they finna come in here and offer you something that they haven't offered you before. Love, okay? They finna come offer you something that they ain't never offered you before, Scorpio, and that's love, see? The world. For some of y'all, this person here wants to start completely over here. Or this person may have ended a cycle with another situation. <laughs> Because we know lovers represent choices and stuff. See, it's almost like something keeps showing up for y'all person here. See? Or once again, this is somebody here who could be at a distance from you. It could be some type of separation from you with this person at this time. And they're feeling it. Two of Cups. What else with this lover's card here? Like I say, this person may have had a choice, y'all, because I see, I see all these other queens in here, and I don't see no, one of these queens could be you. All these queens could be you, because you're the empress. But with the lovers, there's definitely a choice. Could be just somebody just choosing to commit, because you got the four of wands. Could have been somebody that didn't want, didn't want all it, but they want it now, because you got the king of cups with the ten of cups. For their two of cups. See? The lovers and the two of cups. See, they go to star card. You are this person's wish fulfilled. Scorpios could be an Aquarius. <laughs> Why is the two of wands here? Like I said, somebody could have chose a different direction here. Somebody may have had an option or need to make up their mind. Why is the two of wands here? Uh, it's uh, planning here. Choices, decisions, planning. Ace of Swords, so somebody has gained clarity and truth. See, once again, they have been enlightened. I just seen the Queen of Pentacles. For some of y'all, this person may be looking at themselves or somebody is looking, somebody's enlightened because now they're, they're looking for something more stable and solid between the two of you. You know, when the Queen of P King, the Pentacles show up, it's something real because you got the King of Cups with the Ten of Cups. So for some of y'all, this person may be thinking about marriage. Mm. Nine of Pentacles. See? For, for some of y'all, once again, 
with this nine of pentacles card showing up somebody may have had another situation but they have gained clarity they've been enlightened they see things from a spiritual perspective because they have been through the work your mastery here it says you've learned spiritual lessons here see and as a result somebody's going to come back around take a leap of faith to try again for a second chance with you, Scorpios. And like I say, this person don't want anybody new. This person's no longer in denial because at first they were. But this person is still dealing with a lot of regret because they know that they've lost all of your trust. And they don't they feel like maybe apology may not be good enough especially if they made it a friends with benefits strictly sexy this could have been all that they were after because they had to have a spiritual awakening here the nine of pentacles because also represented that they was not in it for no commitment so you just saw the king of pentacles once again this could have been somebody here who was only about that part because they were asleep but it's like somebody's going from the nine of pentacles to the king of pentacles mindset we know the king of pentacles usually is a marriage material, relationship goals type of energy because we saw the Ten of Pentacles, all right? So now you got the Five of Cups. What's up with the Five of Cups for Scorpios? Why is the Five of Cups here? What if I the Five of Cups? Could be a Cancer. Knight of Pentacles. Towards Virgo and Capricorn, I feel like there is a lot of regret because somebody really didn't establish something like they needed to. See, somebody is somebody is feeling some type of way because once again, somebody did not take this relationship serious. See, they didn't offer nothing. They didn't want nothing solid. See, they could have made you the queen of Pentacles. Feel like somebody wasn't serious. They were just, you know, just having fun, really not taking the relationship serious. But they're regretting it now. Somebody's regretting that they didn't put more work in this connection because now they're looking at you like you deserve it all now. The moon. Somebody is regretting that they did not put more of an effort in because of their fears here. Because somebody is realizing that you brought them a lot of emotional happiness here and that it could have actually worked out. Somebody is regretting that it didn't work out because now they're not happy. They're regretting everything. <laughs> That's what they get. All right, the sun card. Once again, you got the Leo card here twice. Some type of illumination here. Awakening, happiness, joy, new beginnings. Why is the sun here for Scorpios? Clarify the sun for Scorpios. The sun. Mm. There it is. <laughs> ten of Pentacles. So you got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. See? And like I feel like somebody, if they wasn't wanting com to commit, they're wanting to commit now because they've had an enlightenment here. See? There it is, the four of wands, you see? You got the four of wands twice here. See, an ace of pentacles again. So you got the ace of pentacles, ace of swords. All right, the sun card with the ten of pentacles. What's up with the sun card and the ten of pentacles? Mm. So maybe this is you. Yep. <laughs> So you remember it was all about strictly intimacy here. But like I say, they're attracted to you. That ain't no joke. But at least they're coming in here to give you something stable. See, this is how they was at first. King of Wands up against a very attractive, beautiful, abundant Scorpio here. And I feel like they tried to make it all about the intimacy. But I feel like what happened was they ended up falling in love. I feel like this person was a manipulator. And then it could be, a, see, like, I feel like this person could have been manipulating you. But they see now, like, I feel like they, they done changed something. They're not coming in here no knight of wands. They're coming to you with the knight of cups to offer you everything because you're the empress. See? <laughs> Who there it is. You got the ace of swords, ace of wands, and the ace of pentacles here, okay? So there is a need to correct some things. So if they were not giving you like they should have been giving you, they're trying to come in here and give you everything. Now, Scorpio, that's for whoever you make up your mind. It's up to you, but they definitely want a second chance. All right, the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Scorpios? 
Knight of Cups. <laughs> Eight of Swords in the reverse. I feel like they're tired of uh, overthinking things. They're tired of being stuck and restricted here. And somebody, once again, wants you. The lovers. Somebody feels like you're the one for them because you got the Knight of Cups up here with the lovers card again. And look, the Queen of Cups. When I tell you this person is obsessing over you, could be a Capricorn. <laughs> so now you got the King and the Queen of Cups. But you are the Empress. So like I feel like for some of y'all, this person tried to make it just a friends with benefits situation. They were in denial because they needed to spiritually wake up. But now that they have in this, they're ready. Some of y'all may not, may be done, but like I say, they ready now. I told you they obsessing over you. That's all they do is watch you. I write the chariot. Could you got the chariot card twice? Could be a cancer. Why is the chariot here? Got a lot of major arcanas in here. You have the Empress, the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Will of Fortune, the Star card, the Lovers, the Eight of Swords. The Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You have the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn with the Devil card, Capricorn. You have the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, excuse me, the King of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Chariot, the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Moon card, the Chariot, <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. When I tell you it's a lot of water in here, oh, it is. All right, the Chariot, the High Priestess. So see, they're not carnal-minded now because like I said, for some of y'all, they made it all about the X. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the intimacy, yeah. They were in their, they, they, they were, they were toxic. They were, they were very, very toxic and unhealthy. But since they've had this, this awakening here, now they're spiritually guided to you. They're trusting their intuition because they're, they're of the light. Now you got the sun card twice. They know I'm telling you, they know you the one now see, and now they're coming in here to put their work in which they wasn't doing. They wasn't putting their real work in. We know the pinnacles is real work. We ain't talking about one work. See, they, they don't want to play games no more. They don't want to, they don't want to fuss and fight with you. Somebody's trying to overcome and move past the indifferences, but they're coming towards you in a different way. See, they want to bring the harmony back in the relationship and they know that somebody's realizing that they were toxic. Okay. Now here's the four ones again. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Why well, is the four ones here? Commitment. You got the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is somebody here who's coming in here to commit, Scorpios. Seven of Cups in the reverse. I feel like no, someone is no longer running from this connection anymore. See, because I feel like this is this is all they were into at the time. Somebody wasn't being honest. They know they wasn't. Somebody probably was trying to mislead you into thinking that they wanted more. But all they wanted was just friends with benefits here. See, but they're coming out of their confusion because they were they were confused. They, they were in their shadow side. See. Working together as a as a uh, um, a team teamwork. Working with you, they admire you. Like I feel like somebody thinks the world of you. You got the Empress here. Three of Cups again. So this was the problem before. I feel like they wanted to. They wanted a lot, but they didn't want to give nothing in. Eight of Wands. All right, one more card for this four of wands for Scorpios. 
you got commitment all in this read in Scorpio C. Justice. There it is. I told you. And the reason why is because this person knows better now. Could be a Virgo, could be a Libra. They know better now, Scorpios. Now they coming in here. See? King of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. Because I feel like somebody was far from doing anything real because they weren't looking for that. But like I say, somebody's made up their mind that they finna come in here and do what is right. See, there go the Justice card. Page of Pentacles. Judgment. There go that spiritual awakening they're having. In order to do what is right, somebody wants to right their wrongs. See? Five of Swords. Because they're, they're not getting any rest. They cannot get you off of their mind. And all they think about is restoring balance and planting seeds to move forward. Okay? That's what I see. Could be a Libra here. Transformation. Your person is going through a transformation is what Spirit is saying. So for some of y'all, you can trust this person again. See? I told this person is going through a transformation. See? There they go. And all of the mess that they used to do, they don't want to do that no more. See, seven of swords, eight of pentacles, and there go the hermit card again. See there, somebody's realizing that they were a problem. They had a problem within their own life because they were the problem. And somebody does not want to be the problem that gets rid of their empress because somebody realizes that it's something more something more amazing about this connection than they ever gave credit for. Cause I feel like somebody would just, all they want to do was just hump. Okay. They didn't care how you felt. They didn't want that love. They were an asshole. They were, uh, you know, narcissistical. They were abusing their power here. Somebody here that was emotionally detached, but they wanted everything. And so now somebody is realizing with this judgment card that all the games that they played has come back on them. And the only way they're going to get you right is to make it right. Justice. All right, Scorpio, this is your love reading, honey. I tell you, they want you. They're obsessing over you and they are your soulmate and they are in love. And for some of y'all, y'all love this person, too. And then once again, it's the emperor, the empress. It's all about growing and evolving. And I feel like somebody here is growing. Somebody is growing up because they've had a spiritual awakening. But ultimately, it is your choice. We all have free will. But for whoever this is for, they're going to give you everything that you deserve from the beginning of this relationship. So they owe you. They owe you. They owe you for the past and they owe you for the current and they owe you moving forward. Scorpio, for some of y'all, you're going to get it all because see, here it is right here. Just in case you don't know, here it is right here. That's everything right there. That's it right there. And it's befitting this. And not only is befitting this. It's love here. See? So even when you don't hear nothing and you don't see nothing, remember the will of fortune is always turning. And depending on the seeds you sown, they're either going to turn in your favor, you're going to be good, or it's going to turn where you're going to have to learn some real hard lessons here. But I feel like the will of fortune is coming because it's all been about divine timing where you guys can finally be happy in a loving, committed relationship with the person that's going to love you back, Scorpios. You deserve it. All right, Scorpios, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, I'm still offering limited time holiday $5 per questions readings via email. If you're interested in that, check out the description box below. Other than that, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for your support, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye, Scorpios.